Welcome to our lecture online and our next example here about the bulk modulus is a really interesting one. It deals with the earth right here. So since this picture doesn't quite look like the earth, let me go ahead and write it down. Here's the earth and at the very center of the earth we have the central core of the earth which is mostly made up of iron and it's solid, it's a solid core of iron. And we've determined by the fact that the Earth has a certain amount of average density that the density of the core must be about 12 grams per cubic centimeters, which is considerably more what it normally is on the surface because normally density of iron at the surface is about 8 grams per cubic centimeter. So there's been a 50% increase in the density of, of the core due to the enormous amount of pressure. So the question now is, what do you think the pressure is at the very center of the core. Well, first of all, what we want to do, because the bulk modulus is defined in, in terms of pressure and the change in the volume, if we have that kind of a density change, how did the volume change? And the definition of density is equal to mass divided by the volume. So we can say the original density on the surface is equal to the mass divided by the volume at the surface. And that can, we can also say that density final at the core is equal to the mass divided by the volume final at the core. Final. And of course, if we talk about the same clump of iron that we took at the top and then we then to the center and compressed it, the mass doesn't change. The mass will be the same for both cases. So if you now find the ratio of the density, no, let me find the ratio of the volumes, that's better. So the volume final over the volume initial is going to be equal to the mass divided by density final, or not divide by. If I solve for volume, I get mass divided by density. That's right. Mass divided by density final divided by mass divided by density initial. Of course, the mass cancels out because the same mass, which is equal to the ratio of the original density divided by the final density. And of course, since the original density was about 8 grams per cubic centimeter and the final density is 12, we can see that it is equal to 2 thirds, which means that a volume of iron at the surface brought the center of the earth under the tremendous pressure of the weight of the earth will have been compressed to two-thirds of its original volume, which means the change in the volume is equal to one-third, which is equal to 33 percent. So we have a one-third, a 33 percent change in the volume when we take a clump of iron and stick it at the middle of the earth. Based upon that, should we be able to calculate the pressure required to do so? There's one more wrinkle into this problem because at the center of the Earth it's about 6,000 degrees Kelvin. And of course we have the linear expansion of materials due to that enormous amount of heat. But I just calculated it and found out that even though the core is at 6,000 Kelvin, the expansion because of the temperature change is not as drastic as the pressure change that uh, the core experiences. So we can just go ahead and ignore that for now. It was less than 1% change the way I calculated it. So this is far greater. So now let's go ahead and use the bulk modulus. The bulk modulus is equal to the ratio of the force divided by area divided by the change in the volume over the original volume, which is equal to the pressure divided by the change in the volume over the original volume. All right, so the change in the volume over the original volume is one-third of the original volume. So we can say then that the pressure is equal to the change in the volume over the original volume times the bulk modulus. And of course, the change in the volume would be one-third. We have a one-third decrease, of course, we don't have to put a negative there, we could simply solve for the pressure, times the bulk modulus. The bulk modulus for iron is 14 times 10 to the 10 pascals. So now, let's go ahead and calculate that. So we have a 14 e to the 10 divided by 3 equals, that gives us 4.67. This is equal to 4.67 times 10 to the 10 pascals. So that's the pressure at the center of the earth to the enormous weight pushing down on it. Uh, let's see here, how many atmospheres is that? If I divide that by 101,325, that's 460,000 atmospheres. 460,000 times the atmospheric pressure. So that's the pressure at the core of the earth. So that's quite a bit, and that's enough pressure to shrink down the volume of the core of the Earth to what it normally would have been to about one or two-thirds of the original size that it would be if there was no pressure there, or about 
one-third reduction in the volume due to the enormous pressure caused at the center of the Earth. So that's kind of an interesting result. And that's how you do that using the bulk modules.